Hey guys, welcome to another video for simonsvideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to show you 5 secret tips on how to defend your base in Fear Runner's attack. The first secret tip is Hidden Wall. Hidden Wall is a, a, a way to defend your resources by putting a wall right behind your resources. For example, this lumber yard, uh, you notice that there is a little wall at the back of this lumber yard. Okay, notice my sniper is getting closer to the real gun when I'm attacking this lumber yard. Uh, the reason why is because there's hidden wall right behind this lumber yard, making it harder to attack immediately at a longer distance. But of course, uh, remember to upgrade your wall as soon as possible so that uh, it takes a longer time to destroy those walls. The second secret to defending your base is overlap your power station. As you can see from here, uh, you can actually press on any power station and you can see there is uh, some kind of overlapping of uh, the radius of your power supply. Okay, this is a very, very nice example of a, a failure to overlap your power station. Uh, as you know, the, the defense defensive structures will not work without any power so if you do not put any defensive structures at the overlapping part of the power station uh, it's very easy for me to attack uh, using maybe the motorcycle magazine to destroy the power station and then uh, you know there will be no defensive structures left to defend the base um, making it so much easier to, to, to attack so if you overlap uh, make sure there is a defensive tower in between the overlap of the power station. The next strategy is self-explanatory, is to protect your short-range defensive towers. Okay, let's take a closer look on my defensive tower's position. By pressing and holding on the ground, you can see the overlapping range of all the defensive towers. And you notice that um, the getting gun, which is a much longer range, is positioned on the outer edge of the base to protect the shorter range uh, frame tower and rail guns from sniper attack. The sniper is actually out of range of the rail guns, uh, but the getting gun have enough range to attack the snipers so do take note of that put your getting gun at the outer edge of the defense the fourth secret tip is to use your environment to defend your base as you can see from here i actually use the mountain defense to have a natural barrier against the enemy line of sight so the enemy have to go around the mountain bar defense in order to attack my gold refinery and the gold mine also act as a uh, obstacles for the enemy to have a, a clear line of sight to attack uh, together with the wall uh, combo and the barracks and the long range uh, getting gun uh, this is a very very easy way to defend your base and last but not least is the secret number five do not host a resource buffet for your attackers Here's a very prime example of a resource buffet. Uh, a, a buffet means <laughs> all you can eat. The attackers just take all the resources all day one to uh, 100% uh, without any defense. Uh, the best way to defend the resources is to put the resource building uh, in between the defensive towers uh, without uh, like putting it one at the back. Um, this this particular base maybe he he mistaken the the piece of land behind is not deployable but it's actually deployable so to take note about that. And here's another prime example of a resource buffet by placing your resource building in front of your towers make it hard for your defensive tower to reach uh you know the snipers so the snipers can just walk in and just you know eat what what they want all the resources they want just take um so this is a prime example not to do this uh, unless unless you put a wall in front of the resource building to lure the, the sniper in in within the range of your getting towers for example well basically that's it for this video and i really hope you enjoyed this video of course if you do enjoy uh, please give me a thumbs up and share to your friends and subscribe for more awesome videos if you have already subscribed remember to press the notification button to get notified for all the new videos that i publish into youtube right so basically that's it thank you very much and have a nice day see ya bye bye